had a meeting this morning with an agricultural uh, financial consultant to help us with obtaining a farm of our own eventually. Fencing off this area and maybe getting miniature cows. Have a look at this jerky. It is the best jerky ever. I told Riley to throw the beetroot over to the goats. We recently just bought ourselves a king size bed and there was a whole dilemma with that. I've also been gardening. Hello guys, welcome back. Um, back on the farm, last video was us at wildlife, uh, the Cavisham Wildlife Park, I should say. Um, we're out at the moment doing the next step to the chicken coop. We've been absolutely flat out um, trying to do a billion other jobs moving back to Australia from Canada. Um, Loader's pretty much still in the same spot as last time. We've done a few things. Connor went out yesterday and picked up some pine posts for the chicken coop. Um, I will run through all that a little later. Just ran inside. It's 28 degrees here and I'm dying and it gets to 47 easily throughout summer. Um, it's the end of our winter and I am honestly dying. I'm so climatized to Canada's weather that this would be a hot summer's day in Alberta. Um, but I'm dying. I did have a single on and I know it looks strange that I've gone inside and put a long sleeve RB shirt on. But um, it's a bit backwards here. In summer you always put like a long sleeve shirt on when you're working in the sun because you get so sunburnt. Um, it is sort of lightweight. It's a medium weight shirt. So these are the, my go-to work shirts anyway. Um, this video is not sponsored in any way but I've and I've always worn RB shirts. Tilly had them when she was like two years old but um they have recently reached out to me and gifted me a few other shirts not this one I bought this one so I will show them later on in the end of this video we recently just bought ourselves a king size bed and there was a whole dilemma with that um, I'll insert some footage very soon of what our cottage bedroom looked like before and after it's not a huge big transformation it's not a reno but um it is just showing what it looks like with the bed in basically and cleaned up and furniture moved around and to the way we like it um, but there was nothing wrong with it before it looked beautiful but we're moving the old bed into Riley's bedroom and we've upgraded to a king bed like we had in Canada. I did have to go and pick up the bed an hour and a half into the city from where from the farm I loaded up the trailer and, and went and um, they gave me all the right pieces but I didn't check the bed slats and they gave me a queen size so we had to wait a week after for them to deliver it which was nice that they came out and delivered it but man when you've been sleeping on mattresses all in Canada because we sold all our furniture and then coming here and you know we're in a softer mattress dad likes softer mattresses we like firm mattresses it was very exciting to finally get our own bed again and then I drive all the way to get it and we can't even install it so but yeah I'll show you guys a um, bit of footage now of a before and after of our bedroom All right, so we finally got our bed. Absolutely love it. I was thinking about painting these walls like a beige cream color, um, but now that we've got the white 
bedroom suite in, I've decided I actually quite like the blue. So we did paint that blue wall back in 2015 when we lived in this cottage ages ago, almost, what, eight years ago. But um, yeah, I think it actually suits quite well. I went with a Target bedspread. The bedroom suite was from Furniture Bazaar in case anyone is wanting to get the same one as us. We're not sponsored in any way. Um, I really, really like the farmhouse style look of the white wood with the brown. In every single house we've always lived in, Connor's always had his own little like space on the floor where he just shoves his stuff. It doesn't matter how much cupboard space we have. So that's his little nook there. <laughs> um, we are eventually going to move this huge cabinet. It's Jara and it's very, very, very heavy. It took four people to bring it into this room. Um, my dad purchased it and he's decided to keep it in here. So we're lucky and we've got it has so much cupboard space in it, but it only holds my clothes because <laughs> I just have so much. Anyway, we do plan on moving it further to the left here and then moving that white cabinet over to that corner when we've got the manpower to move it. I haven't purchased any lamps yet for the side of the beds, um, bedside tables. So we're just using my dad's little butterfly lamp for now, which is really cute. It actually is really cute, but just does not go with this style picture of my sister and I when we were kids, live near the beach. Currently reading this book, um, I just have not had the time to get that far into it, but it's really good. It's giving me McLeod's daughter's vibes. The girl's name's Claire. Um, it's about her dad owning a farm and her having to, she's a city girl more, more a city girl than a country girl. So it's very much like McLeod's daughters, but instead of Tess being Claire, yeah, it's it role reversed with the names. Um, yes, I do recommend that book so far. I haven't read it all yet. But yeah, just thought I'd show you guys a new bed, big firm mattress, king size. It's just amazing. Absolutely love it. Oh, and I bought these from Target. So this one here, oh no, this one was from Kmart, I think. Um, just another throw rug. And then this one was from Target or maybe the other way around. Either way, Target Australia and Kmart. Australia. I know that people say that there used to be Kmart in the US years ago. It is completely different. It's not the same Kmart as the one we have here. Um, I've also been gardening, which I use that term very lightly. I'll insert that footage here. All right, so we've got a bunch of these frangipani cuttings. I, th I don't, I'm not even going to pretend that I know about gardening because I don't. I don't even know if they're called cuttings, but dad got them and he wants me to plant them so um i'm gonna try and attempt to grow these and i'll update you guys once they've if they actually grow um i don't even know if you're supposed to cut the bottoms of these again or just plant them straight in like that but um i've tried googling it couldn't really find much info but um yeah hopefully they, <laughs> they work I will give you guys a full veggie garden tour later on in another video, but here's the extent of my um, <laughs> gardening skills. Dad, I rang him the other day and I was like, should I pull these up? And he's like, yeah, they're probably ready. And I pulled them up and they weren't. So I just planted them back in and well, come out today and they're dead. So that's it, the extent of my veggie garden skills. Let's see if we can get these in. I just went round inside and did another Google search. It says you can chuck them straight in. Don't need to re-clip them at the bottom and then just water the ground. So wish me luck. Maggie, what are you doing? Hey, I told Riley to throw the beetroot over to the goats. These aren't our goats. They just demolished a whole one there. Hi. Pretty quickly. What are you doing, Mags? As you can see, Maggie has got good working traits. Not scared of the stock. I need to get her into that horse round pen we made with our own sheep. But we haven't got our own sheep yet, so got to get her starting, starting the beginning stages of training, but Time is not my friend at the moment. All right, back to frangipanis. All right, Riley's over there keeping an eye on Maggie. Um, I've planted one here, one here. I need to mow the lawns this weekend. 
Um, and I know that this doesn't look like much of a garden, but we do have plans for this back area, which I'll explain later on. But um, we are gonna make like a rose garden through here and put some limestone bedding and all that. I'll explain that in another video. I've also planted one here, um, which Maggie hopefully does not rip up because she's in a major chewing stage. Good girl. And then one here. These ones I thought I'd keep for my dad for his new place. See what he wants because he might want to plant a garden right next to his. Maggie! <laughs> You're honestly like a third child. Stop, honey. Um, yeah, he might want some for his little garden area. Ah, ah, ah. Not toys. You're a big doofus, aren't you? Hey, you got to go for your last vaccination soon, and then you can explore more of the world. Aye. You're growing up quick, Maggie girl. I uh, just made a little tribute video for it with Chris Stapleton's song, Maggie's song. I did not realise he had that song. I'm a Chris Stapleton fan, but had no idea about that song for some reason. So, um, yeah, I didn't name her after that song, but it suits well. It's a really nice song, but also a sad song. So I cut it out to the, if you listen to the lyrics of Maggie's song, I didn't make the tribute on Instagram, if you want to go check it out, it's on Instagram. I didn't do the whole song because the end ending's a little sad. But yeah, go check it out on my Instagram or my uh, Facebook page, Back Out West. Hello. I share the same stuff in both places. And now today I am going to jump on the lawnmower, mow the lawns, I'll show you where in a sec. Um, and while Connor's going to start drilling some of the holes for the chicken coop, so Connor's currently up here in our round pen. Um, we built this back in 2015. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's a big horse round yard, round pen you call it in Canada and I'm sort of sticking with that. Same as in Canada you call it a horse trailer, in Australia you call it a horse float and I'm sticking with trailer because float just sounds so strange now. But um, when we're all gone, because my dad doesn't ride and didn't, no one had horses here, um, he sort of let a tree accidentally grow in the middle. So Connor chopped it out, but the roots are so deep, we're trying to burn it out before burning restrictions are put into place. Because in Australia, just like Canada, we get a lot of fires and we get burning restrictions put into place, don't we, Connor? Yeah. Oh yeah, you should probably say hi. Good afternoon. <laughs> um, you get like harvest bans and movement bans, just different categories of fire restrictions. Yeah, we get different, move, yeah, movement ban is where you can, can't can drive in the paddock because it's so hot that even the car or the tractor or whatever could start a fire. Um, that's when horses are good. Hmm. Then you get, what was it, movement ban? What's the other one? Yeah, you get the harvest ban. Harvest ban where you can't harvest. You're not allowed to do any work in the field. The only thing you're allowed to do is check livestock water troughs. And then the movement ban is like a complete no movement of heavy machinery around property, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then just normal fire ban is for everyone with hobby farms or small suburban blocks anywhere because it would be that hot and dry that, yeah, you just can't. And that's where volunteer firefighters come in um, and I'm, I'm looking at volunteering. Um, at our local one just down the road from us. Um, I've got all the number, I just need to make the call, but I'm just waiting till I've got a bit more time put into place. Oh, here's Maggie, she's here. Just looking for Maggie. We knew she was out here, but she's just here. Um, yeah, a bit more time for me to go in and hopefully when they've got a training day, I can go down. Might not be for a couple months, but I do want to do that. Um, I, I've sort of been put off doing it when I was a teacher I wanted to do it in our local town um, but you had to be readily available and I couldn't just leave the class and leave all the kids to go tend to a fire so now I'm in a better situation where I can do that and I'd like to do that meet new people and do something for the community but um yeah I'll show you down in this chicken coop what Connor's got plans for it before I start mowing the lawns Okay, so we just went over to Dad's other shed. 
on the other side of the property and picked up this wire. I'll insert that footage now. So the other day we, when I say we, I mean Connor and Riley pulled apart this very old chicken coop that was here before my dad even bought the farm. Um, and we're going to reuse this gate standing up here, 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 here. And um, we're pulling a bunch of the wire over here and reusing that and some of that tin as well. So some of the stuff is new, like the pine post, but everything else, well, not everything. Half of the coop will be reused. What's wrong? Hi, hi. Hi. All right, so we're trying to cut into this down here. <laughs> um, when I say we again, I mean Connor. No, I'm helping. But he did not tell me to bring my gloves over. I thought we're coming over to check out. One of our mates is taking his cows and he came down to yard them up and put the yards up, the cattle yards, but he's gone off to go get the truck to take them back to his farm. The kids are arguing, which is great. All right, just rolling it out. Maggie's learning to tie up, so she's not on her best behavior right now. Perfect, fits absolutely perfect. <laughs> No, we're just driving it on the farm, so this is not roadworthy, but uh, it'll do. I don't know if you guys can hear the pump going, but Dad has many leaks around this property. <laughs> um, we've been trying to figure out, for those that don't know, every time there's a little bit of a drip or a leak from one of the taps under the ground, like the pipes, it automatically turns the pump on to refill the water line again. And Connor fixed three, and then the pump didn't turn, it was turning on like every three minutes. So we would flick the power off in the house every time we did, weren't using the water. Then when we needed to flush a toilet or use the um, shower or wash our hands or anything, we'd go and flick the pump back on. Connor's fixed three leaks. It got it to a point where now it's every 20 minutes the pump will turn on because there's some sort of slow leak somewhere. Connor's worked out part of the veggie garden needs fixing, one of the taps, but there must be another leak somewhere else. So. That's another project. You've always got projects when you live on a property. Um, Connor went yesterday and sourced out three meter poles. We're doing them so high because I want to be able to walk in. I mentioned in my last video that we're making this a snake, snake not snake proof. Snakes are going to be able to get into this, but making it so I can see the snakes a little easier and so can the kids and not so many spider webs above me sort of thing like I can walk into this coop I showed pictures last time and I'll probably insert another one here of our last chicken coop that we had and I thought it was a lot bigger from the pictures and then it came and it was flat pack and it was stupid mistake I remember I was breastfeeding at the time on the couch when I ordered it and just didn't really look into it too much so this one's super simple but in saying that, we live in red dirt country. It is clay. It is so hard to drill through this ground. I had to make a hole the other day to put Maggie's dog poo in, and it took 20 minutes of digging to get a small hole with a shovel. So Connor went to town yesterday to see if we could source out a um, post hole digger. The tractor doesn't have an auger attached to do it on there. Um, maybe something will look down further down the line, but um. He asked the local hardware if they had any. They said they used to hire this one out, but they're stopping because people kept breaking it. And if we wanted it for a hundred bucks, they'd let us buy it. So Connor scored that right place, right time. Um, oh, there's a little lizard. The snakes and lizards are coming out because it's getting hot. I saw a big bobtail, like blue tongue sort of looking lizard the other day from a distance. It was huge. Um, anyway, and that was over there. I saw that. So we've got three meter poles, they got a pine posts. They're going in here. There's an extra one, there's seven. So the seventh one will be the one that the gate goes on, which I showed in that little footage over at the other side of the property um, that we're reusing. A lot of the coop is being reused. We'll have to buy some extra wire though. Um, Dad's already got the shea cloth mesh, like that one that we're gonna put over the top. And then we're concreting these in. Connor's gonna start this. He's procrastinating like hell because he knows how hard it is, even with the post hole digger, to deal, dig into this ground. It is just ridiculous. In 2018, 17, 18, um, well, 2016, we bought our own 40 acres, um, not far from my dad's property, and we were turning it into a horse adjustment. Um, and I actually have an article that was in a magazine about me to do with that. I might put it up on the screen. You guys can pause it and read it if you want to. Or don't that's <laughs> fine but 
basically we bought this 40 acres and we put sheep on it and then we had we were setting it up as a horse adjustment and I wanted it to look very western looking so I bought all these pine posts and we're going to stay in them all and it, anyway it was a whole thing but the ground was very much like this and it was just Connor and I doing it and it took forever we got three quarters of the way through and ended up having to hire a fencing company come in to finish it because we were shattered and we had no grandparents around at the time for you know a couple of years and I had just had c-sections and I had two little babies and it was just so much work so I think that's why Connor's procrastinating putting these seven poles in because he's just I keep saying poles I should say posts I keep saying poles because I used to make horse jumps as well and I used to make them out of these posts and you call them horse jump poles or whatever so that's why I keep saying it but um yeah I'll put some pictures up we made like a 60 by 40 meter horse arena sort of like a rodeo size very large show jumping size arena um and a bunch of like horse paddocks with um electric standoffs and extra wires in case a pony was adjusted there and yeah a lot uh, we, a lot of work went into that property but we realized we're making it trying to make a western ranch in the wheat belt and it just did not work like the flies, the snakes, the red dirt, it was just so bloody hot. And that's when we decided we wanted to give Canada a try and move there. So we sold the property and moved to Canada instead. And now we're back here on dad's farm. But that was a long way of, long story for no reason, but just thought I'd tell you guys it. I'm gonna go now and mow this lawn. I was gonna pitch an idea by you guys. We're thinking about fencing off this area and I will make a whole nother video on some areas that we're gonna fence, but Fencing off this area and maybe getting miniature cows. I think that would be really cute just to have a um, a few girls and breed them. There's a big market for that. They're very hard to come by and I think it'd be a good bit of extra income for our property. Help pay the bills and eventually we can get our horses again too. So yeah, just thought I'd let you guys in on that little side project we're looking at potentially doing. We're also getting sheep very soon too, which will be in my next video probably. I'll um, share with you guys where we're fencing and our plans. Yes, yeah, so I was just explaining to Connor about how he's got the PTSD from putting the posts in. It's procrastinating. Well, this is where the first post holes I dug from one of your projects. Yeah, I like to give Connor projects and I help him. I plan it all. I let him know the budget and everything. Yeah. I'll go get the supplies and order them. And then I'm like, all right, off you go. Just enough not to buy the <laughs> equipment to do it. <laughs> do it behind, you'll be fine. <laughs> no, <Concrete>. but <laughs> but if we do, and I was, I was saying before, if we, um, I'm gonna make another video on some fencing ideas we've got of what we wanna put in them and stuff, but, um, if it's a large amount and we can afford it, we might look at, if it's too hard, maybe contracting someone, do you think? Yeah, if we're doing a lot of fencing, someone else will be doing it. Yeah, I it's just, it's different if we were in like nice brown soil. I'll bring them a peel of water if they want. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, here is ridiculous though. It's not because we're lazy. It is so hard to dig this dirt, like it is. Well, we're also doing other jobs. It's not like, well, yeah, That's this is full time job. No, to do a fence. no, and it ends up being the whole weekend for many months fencing, and we never get anywhere. Whereas if you hire someone, it's done in a week. So, with the right tools. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go mow the lawn. Okay, I can't get my glasses pushed in, and I don't know if I'm in focus, but I thought I'd jump on here and say I'm gonna go mow the lawn. But have a look at this jerky. It is the best jerky ever. It's from the Jerky Co Company. I'll put it up on the screen. I can't remember how you say it, but um. And of course, a uh, very healthy drink, Coke Zero. Just really need it today to get this mowing done. Dad's mower is fancy, and I say that because he actually has a uh, cup holder on it. Our last one didn't, and it sucked. So, um, yeah, gonna go mow the lawn now, have my lunch. My very, 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 I'm doing this very gracefully, aren't I? Very healthy lunch. And um, yeah, I need to take a little thumbnail for the front of this video. I have no idea, maybe me sitting on the mower. <laughs> I have no idea, I always get stuck with the thumbnails. But yeah, let's go mow the lawn. I got a heart that burns, baby. I got a tree that yields fruit. 
I got a clock that keeps on ticking. I got a ship that sails the truth. I got a song that I've been singing. I got a mind that fights fair. I got arrows I've been singing. I'm a game of truth or dare. We got time, we got bones, we got spark. All right. Fuel's running low and the battery ran low on the camera. I just had to go in and change it over so that time lapse of me mowing the lawn didn't exactly go to plan. But uh, yeah, the lawn mower's running low and fuel. So I've got to go over to the big shed and go get some more petrol. Whew, it's hot in here. It's really weird driving in auto. Go over and uh, get this um, fuel. It honestly feels so weird not driving manual. I'm driving Connor's work car just around the corner. Um, that's the good thing with working for this company as opposed to the one in Canada. He gets a work vehicle so that helps a lot. If you don't already know Connor's a precision farming specialist so he does all the New fan dangle stuff. That's his uh he always hates when I say the definition of his job because he always says I get it wrong. Sort of like Chandler in Friends where everyone doesn't know his job. But um yeah no he installs GPSs into tractors and calibrates everything so it works with the technology he puts in. There you go, that's the definition I'm coming up with. <laughs> um but yeah he's really enjoying his job. He loves it and he's obviously, he used to work at this company before but now he's managing the role he used to do, so he's a manager now, so that was the ultimate goal. So it was sort of cool, we went to Canada and enjoyed that and he got a whole bunch of experience and came back and got a higher up role, so, and yeah, and he really likes the people he works with, so that's always a good thing. Alright, now I'm down to the shed and um, go get this fuel. Forgot to mention we uh, had a meeting this morning with an agricultural uh, financial consultant. Don't know what the actual term for his job role is, but that'll do. Um, and it was really good, went really well. He, um, oh, we hired him, we're hiring him to um, help us with obtaining a farm of our own eventually. We gotta keep going to change gears and there's no, it's, it's auto. Um, yeah, he's uh, going to help us, you know, with our goal setting, which we already have a bunch of goals, but how are we going to obtain those, how to get up the right loan to eventually own our own large, you know, huge, huge farm, eventually have at least, you know, a thousand head of sheep and a few head of cattle. And we're mainly going to focus on sheep and we'll just have a few cows, but um, yeah, it, it's quite exciting. We've got a year goal so far and we're going to be chatting with him for a long-term goal. You know, it's second year goal, third year goal and go from there. But um, it's looking very exciting. Very, very exciting. Nervous, but exciting. And my dad's mate, or well, is our mate too, who's keeping the cattle on the farms, taking them away today. And then um, other friend is um, taking his sheep away, I think in October, roughly on my dad's farm and then we're going to let the paddocks rest a bit and then eventually put our own sheep on which is for another video. I'll explain all our plans in another video. Man I am so filthy. I know it probably doesn't come through through the video but when you're uh, mowing the lawn I've got it at the second highest one but um, when you're mowing the lawn it um all the dust here in the wheat belt. <laughs> I mean there's only a bit of lawn on top and there's just so much dust but um it's all everywhere. It's insane. Anyway, to get the fuel now and take that over. Empty. Let's get this one. Okay, they're all empty except one, so I'm gonna have to fill this one up after it's done. Fill a few up during the week when I take the kids to school. I thought I'd jump on here and say, Riley doesn't go to school. I always say kids to school. I just mean he comes with me for the school drop-off. Riley is in supposed to be in kindergarten this year, but um we're keeping him back home, he's fine, and um, he'll start in pre-primary. 
is backwards here in, in Australia. Pre-primary isn't kindy and kindy isn't, I oh know. He's five if that helps. Um, in Canada it's a different year level. Oh. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna film this, pouring it into here at the same time as actually doing it. Hey Tilly, want a job? So Tilly's okay. gonna film. Good girl. Wow, I put fuel in it and don't spill it all over my jeans. It turned off. Oh, never yeah, mind. That's all right. Still recording. You can probably turn it off now. I think they get the gist. Just press the red button on top. See the red button on the very top of the camera? Where? Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! What's dad doing for you right now? Instead of doing the. a trampoline! He is putting together the trampoline we bought you. To, a week, last week, the kids have patiently waited. But it's another procrastination from Connor because he doesn't want to put the chimney <laughs> together. He doesn't want to drill those posts in, does he? Hopefully the trampoline will be in by today. Waiting for you. What you got? Oh. Some Kentucky whiskey. Nice. <clears throat> Where's yours? Well, I had a cider earlier, but I'm, I'm not drinking. Um. We are shattered. I am covered in dirt. I still don't know if you guys can see that, but we're tired, yeah? I can see it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, finished mowing the lawns. Uh, Connor put up the whole trampoline. that, And I, I did mention before that I should correct. We did not buy the trampoline. The kids saved up their money. And then I said, what about if you combine your money together and buy the trampoline? So that's their first big thing that they've bought, isn't it? Yep. And we're glad because I'm sick of them buying silly little toys and they just... Well, they just have so much toys that they never play with. Well, we so. sold most of the toys or rehomed them in we Canada. We still have a lot. In Canada and they still have so many that they brought over, just little things that just sit there and they, they've grown attached to them and mm. yeah. Anyway, so Connor didn't do the, <laughs> the buying bows. Um, I, I put the chicken wire in. He's put the chicken wire in. I'll put footage over the top. <laughs> And when he I, says I, he put it in... I, uh, I put it in the hole and yeah. that's it. He laid it on top. That That's it. He, like he just literally lifted it and went, done. Hey, and right. you leveled out like Took a meter effort. of it that you forgot last time. But um, we're, we're shattered and we just had a mate that's picking up the cattle pop mm. over and we were chatting to him. And I burnt off a lot of stuff and um, we now have the dishes to do. For bath the kids, bath ourselves, or shower ourselves. You're not going for a nice little bubble bath, are you? Um, and we got to do dinner. And I was just saying to Connor, maybe I'll go to town. Um, we've got a town 15 minutes from us. Not even, is it 15? Yeah, mm -hmm. 20? 15. 15. 15 maybe minutes roughly from us. Um, and they do pizza, which we've never tried from there before. So We've had pizza before. Yeah, we've had pizza before. <laughs> We have a town another probably 25 minutes away and they do Domino's pizza, but uh, yeah, it's not that. No, I don't. No. And I'm gluten free, so, and dairy free, <sighs> and this place apparently does that. So um, I might go and get that now because I'm shattered and you can bath the kids and 
Yeah, do, do, the dishes, do the dishes, clean the vacuum floors, vacuum the floors, feed the dog, all your jobs. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Good so nothing you. else you want to say, is it? No. Man, no, many I'm words. done. Um, yeah, like usual, like follow. <laughs> what is it? Like, yeah, subscribe. Follow. Like, follow, and subscribe. Like, follow. But follow. Do I say that in every video? Uh, like, uh, follow. But you don't follow. It's subscribing. Yeah, like and subscribe. Like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> oh my god, I'm You're really so good dying. at this. I'm really good at this. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I have not been drinking. <laughs> Bye. Say hi. I got a heart that burns, baby. I got a tree that yields fruit. I got a clock that keeps on ticking. I got a ship that sails truth.